It's night and day. Night and day back again. Yes, we are back. <laughs> back in the world of The Walking Dead. Yes, back in the game of sorrow. Yes. Where we're back here with one kid on our team. No yeah. longer two. No longer two. Outlook is not looking great. Um, <laughs> so, I guess we'll try opening this truck. See what happens with that. We still got our monkey wrench thing. Yeah, worst case scenario. We got a monkey wrench and we have a gun. So, But we don't have our freaking animal crackers because the game locked yeah. us into forward momentum. Right. That's so obnoxious, man. Should have given them to, to Duck. Huh. Maybe Duck wouldn't have eaten them and they would have gone to Clementine. Maybe, yeah. That but maybe would have given them to Clem. But at least, yeah, she'd be able to use them. Empty. Uh, That's what I figured. Uh, and we literally risked our lives for those crackers. Right, yeah, exactly. Or we literally had Lee risk his life for That's those crackers. That's the only useful thing. <laughs> Dude, a stop sign is useful. Hey, we have tape. I mean, that's true. We could we could sharpen the stop signs and right. use them as weapons. Yeah. Stop frisbees of death. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, oh, this ben, is old me and Krista. That big unwelcomes. Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. We're, We're gonna, gonna cut, cut the tanker, tanker down. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? Poor Kenny. I'll get yeah. to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. Why? Why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens? Really, wow. kid? It's probably for the best. Damn. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Kenny might be uh, thinking yeah. of ending things. He's Things in a aren't bad spot. Looking too hot for Kenny right now. You can't blame him. Yeah, honestly. Oh, big shit to move. At least sounds like he's mad at the developers. This would create one hell of a fireball if we tried to blast through. On that last dialogue set when it said we're gonna cut that tanker down. Yeah. <laughs> my eyes read it. I guess it's because of the game, but because everyone in this game is they talk more real. Right. But my eyes read it as we're gonna cut that fucker down. <laughs> <laughs> gonna cut that bitch down. We're gonna cut that fucker down and get on our way. Had enough of this crap today. Yeah. Uh, is that one rogue sunflower just sitting in the? This is one sunflower. Oh, there's another sunflower over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Sunflower. So talk to Chuck. There's butter That's on my Chuck. head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I can't. I can woo 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 woo. Yes. All the tracks. All day long. He's showing Omid how to drive the train, or he wanted to show us how to I drive guess the train? I guess I'll try going in there, see what's going on. Somebody has to look in that train station, train stop station, whatever. That's going to be oh, us. Oh, he's searching. He's helping Omid, I oh, guess. Okay, so. cool. Let's see how Kenny's Teaching doing. Teaching him anything? I'm trying to. <laughs> but he's too much of an idiot. <laughs> Learning the ropes. Actually... Yeah. Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me, maybe we can drive in shifts. We'll see. He's really jumping the gun here. Uh, Kenny suddenly knows appropriate grammar. Yeah. <laughs> How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while and then, you know. That's rough. Her cat is going to be pissed. I don't think you have to worry about that right now. Sorry. Uh, now, you don't even know if this how other animals seem dangerously normal. Yeah. Krista doesn't let us join groups. And I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds. Tens. Sometimes. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Well, oh, Omid's a friendly guy. He seems like he has to die, I guess, because <laughs> this, this world is... Because all friendly people die in this. You see what happened to Duck? I'm still sad. That is true. That is true. Duck, unfortunately, did not make it. See, this is days later, guys, and I'm still sad about Duck. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can talk to you. Are you interrogating this woman for us? Yep. 
She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. Okay, I thought that was something, something else. Okay. Um, Can you talk to Krista? Or are they one unit right now? Hey there. <laughs> That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? Hey it's there. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is night and day. Yeah. Back again. <laughs> How you guys doing today? <laughs> hey there. Where are you from? San Francisco. San Francisco. Long way from home. I blame the one. Watching this video too. Relax. <laughs> Maybe watching it doing your homework. Enjoying it. Bargain for, huh? Who the hell Hope you're having a fun time. Yeah. Anyway, it's a white guys. fun game. Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. Nice. <laughs> so she took a shot at history, said only white guys are into it, and Lee said, "F that noise." Actually, he just gave her the weird, goofy yeah. ass look in the world and waved. All right. While we were constantly waving, <laughs> it looked like he was joining in our conversation yeah. while talking <laughs> yeah, to her. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. I'm part of the night and day show, yeah. lady. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Just. I'm famous now. <laughs> don't hurt Clementine. Careful. She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need to lecture. You aren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. If you think it's good, don't use the critical tone yeah, of voice. Yeah, I know. Voice you actress. You doing what? <laughs> oh, that's actually a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> what were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're going to be around for a while, be good to know what baggage you got. And maybe we won't be around for a while. Okay. Bye. Right, relax. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask or me. He likes to break things. Alright. Okay, nice not to have respect for your husband or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they're... Maybe I should check out that train station. No, I mean, according to Omid, they've been together for a while. Yeah, so. seems like it. Can I follow you over there? Uh, you don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Oh. Yeah, alright. Oh, Come okay. On. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, alright? Hustle over if you hear anything. So we're just going to need her to reach something. <laughs> <laughs> or we're going to need to save her from a zombie. Right, the, right, exactly. The developers need her over here, and that would be why. <laughs> and I prefer not to bring her. I don't want to put her in risk here. But, you know. Oh. I, don't I like wonder if that's true. Can yeah. we see that? There's no way Lee can see yeah. that. Yeah, I'm just, I have satellite views. Where is Clementine right now? Clementine, where'd you go? Somebody must have been pretty desperate. Oh, this isn't looking There's good. There's no way yeah. he would be able to see that from his perspective. Like, he would have to walk so far back. Yeah, yeah, to be able to see that. Okay. Like, they should have had another one, like, painted on this side of the... Right, just on, on the side of the building. Yeah, or on the like wall that. here. Yeah. Okay, if we're looking at all these signs, might as well be thorough. Good old Macon. Making that bacon. Adventures in Macon. Oh, there, there she go. is. Oh, oh, and there she's gone. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's not an abnormal sign to see, I guess. So you we have to wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, that's good. It's locked. We'll get better at working together. That's an important lesson. Yeah, yeah, that's, I'd say that's a good call. Ooh, forklift. Yeah, let's test the full boundaries of where we can walk so that we don't miss any crackers, damn it. Yeah, yeah. God knows, if I miss another cracker, I'm going to be very upset. Um, I was pissed about that, man, because... Oh, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, if there's ever a point where you need food for people... That is, yeah. It's going to be something like this. I, mean, I guess how it things. panned out, it didn't matter. Because oh, Duck see. was going to die no matter what. It's like, if you want to give a kid a small amount of comfort... Right, like, right. Come on. Ah, I want to be able to help Duck. <laughs> Freaking. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, paint oh, cans. Paint cans. That paint has been dry for months. Oh. Oh. 
So the survivors are no longer inside. That was actually pretty important compared to most of the stuff yeah, that we see when we're honestly, walking around. Yeah. There's, there's a wall here? Yeah. So if the survivors were inside... Chances are they're walkers now. Yeah. yeah. If, the, if the door is locked, still... Yeah. Well, I mean, they could be making runs. I guess so. But it's like if we knock and say hello and no response, then yeah, yeah. they're effed. Uh, I'm imagining, yeah, they're screwed. Or if there's a shambling, growling response... Same. We'll have to find a way in. We don't have to. Yeah, we could just say oh, it was locked up. Nothing inside. We can't knock. We're just gonna try just and get inside. Yeah, we're just gonna. We can't even look through. I guess they're all boarded up or whatever. So it's either somebody's safe house or there's dead people in there, right? I'm imagining there's going to be dead people in here, but... I just mean from his perspective. Oh, like, right, yeah. Why would you yeah. break it either way? Why isn't there a knock option? Like, hey, we're here. Yeah. Is anybody okay oh. in there? Don't! The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Hey, su what a surprise. There's a clementine-shaped yeah. hole up there. Yeah, exactly. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Hey, that's a better Sounds plan. Good. Yeah. How did we hurt our cheek? Unless there's someone with a gun. <laughs> oh, in the fight with Kenny, probably. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? Are there any zombies? What do you see? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny what about unlock it? Picked a lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. <laughs> For real? I think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's some sort of lock at the top. Yeah, yeah. Do doors work like that? I mean, we're looking oh. at the lock at the doorknob. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. Oh, oh the love. I have a weapon drawn just in case. I mean, you don't really know what's in here. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? Yeah. Like that. I'll prop it open with some. Either way. Uh, uh am I finding some? What? Were times what? to find something? Oh crap. There's, oh no way. There's a zombie on my lawn. <laughs> I couldn't move around. I had to I had to just put that on the door there. Okay. Fine. Why would it have been time though? So, yeah. Unless there's a zombie in here who we didn't see who was gonna bite us if we didn't, <laughs> if we didn't do that. Do that yeah. It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. Oh, we're uh. lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. I hate throwing Clementine in these situations. I mean, at least we can see through that one. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, let's just there look. Keys over there. For the gate. I hope so. Let's just l give it a thorough look everywhere through these bars behind every possible thing that we can, and you then put her over there. Back. The game's not going to allow us to do that, is yeah. it? Yeah. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Is it? Yeah. We what need to it? get in there and get that blowtorch. Oh. Mm. That's okay. good. Good job, civil history teacher, professor guy. <laughs> recognizing a blowtorch immediately. Uh, there's a zombie in here, it seems like. There's blood and others' blood tr marks going to the back there. And I can't really access that. Oh. And of course it's not going to let us. Right. Like, just thoroughly search the place before going into the next step. Wish that thing was in my hands instead of over there. It's too dark otherwise. Oh, so they're purposefully making yeah. us not have a weapon. Right. This part, sorry guys, the part with Duck and all was really well done. And then this is so contrived. Yeah. Look how many this crates there are that I we know. can use to There's prop open box. Here's the Here's another box. Door. Here's a door. There's a lid. Even use a can for God's sake. You really? Can figure it out. All right. Look, right outside the door, there's a bunch of yeah crates, crates lined yeah. up against yeah. There's gotta be something useful in here. Yeah, there's a monkey wrench. <laughs> Grab it. It's pretty useful. Don't want to be your monkey wrench. All right. I guess. Well, Don't want to be your monkey wrench. Uh, I guess yeah. I mean, we look through There's it. There's nothing we can do yeah. but put Clementine up here. It's very video gamey. All right, Clem. This game hasn't been like that most of the time. 
most of the game yeah. has been pretty pretty well done. Well thought out, yeah. Grab him and let's get this gate open. But no, I get the part with the gate also at, at the drugstore where we couldn't tell people what's going oh, on right. and we had to do Come on. We couldn't like reinforce it after we came back inside with the Yeah hey. What? Oh, what the I could see how one surprise does. Two is a bit of a stretch. We have to back up. Oh, push him to back. You have to push him back? Oh, you're just gonna outright punch him in the head. Oh, what the? Gotta give him a good push first, I guess. Well, he just rips right into your stomach. Oh, wow. He's a strong fella. Okay. I love that the one bite isn't good enough. It's like, oh no. You're gonna get the crappy now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you gotta give him okay. both a push wow. before you reach for that range. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I was like, okay, it seems like I have some space there, but I guess not. You gotta punch them both in the place. It's a little fake that you get jumped by two guys. Yeah, right at the same time here. And it's not like zombies are quiet. How are they ever sneaking up on anybody? Right, right, exactly. Exactly. One and a two and a one for you and a wrench for me and a have a nice D. Mm. Oh. oh yeah, oh. spamming the X and, and goodbye, my friend. Oh my god, mm. juicy. Oh, that's a ripe one right there. Those are some sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a crunchy bunch. It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Uh, look around in there. Yeah, let's not assume everything's fine. Yeah. That's not fine. Keys, now! Taking the case, thank you. Using the case, thank you. What? Oh, they didn't work. Oh. Okay. What? And good night. And adios, my friend. Did that bullet make an arrow sound? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> that didn't go so Pew. good. No, <laughs> not go so good. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's like a laser beam. I wonder if she could have. What's could've... going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. Did you think you heard three? <laughs> we found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? Yeah, you didn't want to come, so. <laughs> we handled, we it. handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? Then we wouldn't be here. I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. What are you being critical of us for? For surviving? Yeah. I hope you know what you're doing with her. Oh my god, dude. I mean, Queen's still alive. Me too? Me I too. don't know. I, For her sake. I mean, I do hope I know what I'm doing. I mean, but. Yeah, we don't know 100% what we're doing. Right. With Clementine, that's a legit criticism. I but mean, like, that's part of the whole game, though. <laughs> that's part of this whole situation. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I'm yeah, okay. exactly. You can't. It'll pass. She can't put that on Lee. Yeah, exactly. You and an eight-year-old versus walkers. Uh, okay. We're going to say, oh, yeah, we, we were bad. <laughs> we got it. Let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. To not be afraid. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. But we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that kill us. You understand? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Good, good choice, Lee. Words of wisdom. Yes, indeed. I'm surprised they don't just kick us right out of here. You yeah. have the blowtorch. Yeah, yeah. How, uh, well, we now just have it in our pocket. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're just, just carrying it around with us. Saw him lift it up with two hands and not really be able to manage much else. What if I go back here now? Nope. Okay, cool. 
I mean, yeah, it was stupid that they didn't fully check the surroundings for mm-hmm. walkers, right. but it wasn't stupid that they survived when three freaking zombies jumped them. I know. Yeah, exactly. It's like, what what are you going to ask us to do in that situation? Like, right. run and go get help and leave Clem in there or something like that? No. We're going to have to do what we can to survive. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Hmm. Just something about these guys. All right. Let's see if she changed her tune. Hi, girls. Hey. Yeah. We were trying to get used to being on our own. Clementine and I. So you take her into a dark, boarded-up building to build character? Not exactly. I think it's a good idea, figuring stuff out for yourself, for what it's worth. But be smart about it, though, you know? Teach her to scan the area for things. You two should never be looking in the same spot. That's a waste. Stay the hell out of places like that building over there. Especially if you don't have more than one way to get out. And be more afraid of groups of living men than dead folk. That we know. Omid and I are still alive because we're two, not six or eight or ten. I don't believe in strength in numbers, and you shouldn't either. Mm-hmm. There's pros and cons to that argument. Yeah, yeah. So some of what she says has a lot of merit, but some of what she says is like blaming us for crap that's outside our control. Right. And we would have had them move and look around and yeah. check things. If given the possibility, yeah. like given the opportunity, yeah, we would have done that. So I agree with her in that Lee mm-hmm. was a moron in that scenario. Right, like, right. But I don't believe that Lee wouldn't have looked around. Like, he seems too smart a character to not check behind stuff yeah. before going into the locked area or throwing Clementine exactly, over the exactly, bars. Exactly, yeah. Like, you can, you can check that area. I would be <coughs> scanning that area for any sign of walkers at all before right. I throw Clementine in there. You so. mean he's scanning every area right. for, yeah, for yeah. every sign of walkers at all. That's true. Is that Kenny on the train? I think that's Ben. Oh, okay. Good old useless Ben. Yeah. We didn't even find him to talk to him this time <laughs> before we went to the... Like, just get Ben out of here. I know. Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? He's not even... He's not even useless. He's just... He's a liability. Right, exactly. He's exactly. ready to be... Oh, I guess his whole reasoning no was he I'm thought they... Apart down there. The bandits had his friend. Yeah, so he was trying to save his friend. But then when he realized that he they don't have his friend, it was too late. But at that point, when you realize it's too late, you're putting everyone else at risk. Well, even at the so, beginning, you're putting everyone else at risk. You should at least tell, tell them the people... what yeah, you're doing, right? Right, yeah. to see if they can come up with a plan. Mm-hmm. Like, everyone there is more capable of him. They could have made a run to the bandit camp or whatever, look for to see if they have his friend or find proof one way or the other. Shit. What's that? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. If only we had tape. Plug yeah. Leak with something. All right. All right. Better plug that leak. I'm going to plug it with your cold, dead hands. <laughs> that hose. It's useless. Here's a, a patch for the hose. And <laughs> here's a patch for the pimps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna tell? No, we're not gonna tell anybody what we're doing. No. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Uh, move. There we go. Thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut, and it'll go. <laughs> So we have to keep going? I guess so. Should we tell? I still, I don't. Like, oh, tell him to do it. <laughs> we could have him. That's weird. Cut it and then you can die. That's great. Um, I still don't understand how we're not like telling Kenny. As soon as this thing falls, it's going to make a loud bang, right? So we should be telling Krista and Kenny and Ben and everyone to get ready to F, get the hell out of here. Like get the heck out of Dodge if possible. Yeah. There's no but, like... In an actual apocalypse, you would be making plans. Yeah, yeah, you're planning, and you're having like eight <laughs> contingency plans for things. Like you're, you're too high stakes to just kind of do things willy nilly. And I guess we'll do it because I don't want to tell him to do it, and then he's all responsible. Yeah, we should make Omid like do that. it. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah then Krista hates us forever or something. Oh, we oh. do have to do. Can you use your hand? Fire that thing up. <laughs> Damn it! It was just about done too. Crap. Oh. Wow. Yeah, we have to make him do it. Okay. Well, well I didn't think you were gonna live too long, Omid. You're too nice yeah. a guy. But sorry about that, buddy. Didn't think you'd be going out this soon. Weak portion of the couplings out of my reach. Think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. What? What? Ben, you might want to say something to somebody. That would be nice. Even his own self-preservation. Okay, there he goes. Something. There must be thousands. We gotta go. Fuck. I mean, we could just get into the boxcar and seal it. Yeah. It's going. Pull me up. It's gonna hit the ladder. Can he go? Jump on this train. Oof. Shit. Uh oh. What the hell do we do now? Oh, you can kick the thing or push the flame torchy thing over. Hope yeah, this works. Holy crap! Maybe let the train go by first. Yeah. Oh, that's what we, we were supposed jump. to do, I guess. What? No way! Yeah, I'm not waiting. So, good luck, my friend. <laughs> Guys, come on! Uh, Push him. Yeah. Have it your way. I will. You son of a. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Oh what the Ugh. Okay, didn't what? see that coming. Yeah, I didn't think that was Alright, let's go help him. What? Help her. Alright, oh we gotta help Omid. Omid! You son of a bitch, save him! I'm Omid! going. Oh, we should have saved him first because he is injured? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Why are we can, sitting down? Can we not, I can't do anything. Okay, cool. That really didn't make much sense. Yeah. I figured she was behind, so it makes sense. And then if he's dropping back, we'd still be able to save him. But I guess not. That was a lot of them. There's gonna be an explosion back there yeah. soon, right? We're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Yeah, I guess we should have tried to talk him into jumping. I guess so. But when it said push him, I didn't anticipate on him just bouncing off that thing like a bouncy ball. Man. All right, well, that sucks. So, yeah. I mean, it was one of those things where the timer was running out, so it right. looked like we only had one choice. And if we only have one, it's like we have to get him to go. Right, exactly. We I'd rather him be injured in there than him just die on that built on right. that like bridge or something like that. But why was there no explosion? Like the all that tanker fuel, it, it just lit on fire but didn't It just leaked out. Yeah. <laughs> just slowly kept lighting on fire. Hey Kenny. Oof. Next stop, the Atlantic. Poor Kenny. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Uh, by the way, Kenny, let's kill Ben. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. Uh. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. No way. What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Holy 
Oh no, that's oh, not good. That fucking thing was broken. So did I. Well, it sounds like somebody knows where we're headed. What the? Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Somebody's been manipulating Clementine. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh man, that's the end of the smaller nid nid snids. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the smaller snid nid. Oh. oh no, here's where we're gonna cut this part. <laughs> cut it all out. We're almost at the river. You wanna get on a boat? You wanna wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? We need to focus on finding the boat right now, Clem. Like we talked about on the train. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I will kill you! All right, so we're back. I evaded the spoilers. Yes. Hopefully you guys did too. But if not, I don't even know. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on here. Huh. 60% of people did not shoot the girl in the street. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, that's about right. Um, Wait, what? That's the only option? Like, that was way back... That was, yeah, in the very beginning when we could have shot that um, shot that girl to put her out of her misery. Right, which right. Which uh, but, but then, it, yeah, you're so screwed because... Then you're just calling everyone. It's like the dinner bell. Basically. Yeah, I'm even surprised it's that... It's split 60-40. Oh, right, right. Because, I mean, you're saving her, like, 90 seconds of agony or something I guess like so, that. Yeah. You're saving her this small, ultra-small amount of pain in order to make yourself a target. But then again, the way that it played out, the zombies rushed the drugstore anyway, anyway for right. no reason. Right, right, exactly. Like, the realistic version wouldn't have been a fun video game scenario to play where you just look through the drugstore at your leisure, get everything that you want, and go home. Right. No, no stress, but it would have been realistic. Yeah, There's yeah. no sound to draw the zombies over to the damn I mean, she store. was... She was screaming for a long time yeah. on that, so the zombies are going to be drawn to that. They're right. not going to be drawn to like anything we're doing in the drugstore. It's like, oh, there's a slight rustle. Forget this girl screaming in the background. i got to go check this out. Yeah, any zombies at the drugstore would have left the drugstore to go to see mm -hmm. the scream. Right, right, exactly. Freaking bulls in the ball basket. <laughs> anyway, so left behind, did you abandon Lily? That's a close to even split. Hmm. So yeah. So about half the people, slightly over half the people, still took Lily with you. I gotta imagine Lily would be gone by the end anyway. I would have to, yeah. I would have to imagine so. From some other circumstance? Right. Maybe she would have been killed by the zombie horde at the end or something? I don't know. But you would gotta imagine... Yeah, there, I don't think there was any way that she was making it to the end of this chapter. Then again, at the end of the first one, you had... You could have had either, either. Carly or... Doug? Uh -huh. Yeah, Doug. Doug joined the team. And, it, I mean, they had a bunch of dialogue Carly lived for until this point. That's so true. So she lived through all the entire second version. Maybe, yeah, that's so, very true. So, fight against Kenny. Huh, it's fi about 50-50. So, yeah, I didn't know a way to not fight him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to not fight him, to and not, then we got killed. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Huh. So there huh. is a way to not fight Kenny. To kind of talk him out of it instead. Um, so either way, Doug had to die. Um, so, shooting duck, 81% of people. Okay. Yeah, so we're in the majority there. So that's the single most biased one we've seen. Mm -hmm. Like, or not biased, but majority. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. For once, we see a clear majority. <laughs> Everyone shoots duck. Exactly. Most people are like, okay, we'll, we'll take the, that heat for you and stuff. Yeah, so even if there has been a normalization of people trying different things throughout multiple playthroughs, everybody still can get behind that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And help Omid. Did you help Omid? 39% of did players not did help not help Omid. Omid. So I I don't know what we... That was where we could have... Cho chosen, I guess. Yeah, um, it's like we had one dialogue option there. Right. Oh, oh, no, no. That was just at the end with Krista or Omid. Oh, Krista or Omid. Yeah, we, 
I definitely would have helped Omid in that situation, but you helped Krista because she was farther Yeah, behind. she was further behind. And then as soon as I pulled Krista, Omid just immediately tanked backwards. There was no so. way in reality, like, maybe she helped him and that's why he wasn't farther behind. Because in reality, if a dude has a broken leg, he's yeah. not going to be running faster than somebody who doesn't. Right, right. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. So there's no way he that... Um, that he should have been in front running mm -hmm. and keeping pace. Right, right, exactly. So if he was behind, then I would be helping him first. Okay, so you just, but, your mind didn't go like, you know, male, yeah. female, wounded, not wounded. It was just like whoever's farther back needs the most right, help. Right, exactly, yeah. yeah which yeah. makes sense. Yeah. And, and in, in the real scenario, we would have helped Omid because right, he would have been would the be one who was farther back. back. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. And these are slow zombies anyway. Exactly. As long as the train goes... Like, it's going to outrun them. So exactly. Kenny should have just had it slow. Yeah. And our yeah. whole bomb trick didn't work anyway. We <laughs> yeah. pushed the can over, to, yeah. and it made a like a light fire that the zombies just kind of walked on through. Right, right, exactly. So I didn't really see the... Uh, I didn't really, like, see the point in Kenny having to go full steam ahead. Right. Because, I mean, okay, maybe there's the chance that the tanker explodes, and that's why we need to get clear of that blast radius. But Kenny ASAP. wouldn't have even been aware yeah. of that. The, I, yeah, because like we passed yeah. uh, the train passed before we the locomotive the engine had passed yeah, that part. Yeah. Like the passenger car, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it, yeah, box yeah. car, it was going through the fire. But Kenny wouldn't have even known the fire existed. Yeah, yeah, I don't know that there's mirrors and stuff, and we won't tell anyone the plan. So right, so yeah, <laughs> everything's just kind of happening in everyone's own worlds. But uh, yeah. So. The only other thing we could have tried was to climb down the ladder, but maybe I assume the ladder would have been broken. Yeah, I'm thinking so because so we probably just missed a dialogue option that said I can't do that. <laughs> it's, yeah, or like he touches it and it falls off, something right. quick like that. Right, exactly. And in that case, like time is precious, so you're wanting to find the way out immediately. Um, so, I, I mean, yeah, I it sucks that w the option that we chose to like push. Omid forces him to break his leg or something like that. I he didn't might see have, that coming. He might have in any circumstance. Maybe. Like if we jumped first. Because like, the choice at the end was still Omid versus Krista. Yeah. So you got to assume that One. he gets down there with a broken leg either way. Either which way you go. Yeah. Like, yeah. If we jump, then he like forces himself to find the courage and he jumps after and so. still breaks his leg. Right, or right. if we just tell him, which we probably should have done... Like the safest, nicest option. Mm -hmm. But if you only get one thing, the push is the guarantee. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a good way to make sure that he gets down there, as yeah. opposed to, come on, man, we got to do this, and then you jump, and then he's like, I can't do it, and then he's stuck there forever, and then Chris is still is trying to like is still blaming it on us. Yeah, so. that's one where I wonder if you actually say the the nothing option. Like, does everybody die? Because that's yeah. a point where somebody, something need, action yeah, exactly. needs to be actually taken. Yeah, exactly. Actually, has to occur yeah. immediately, or else something. You can't just gonna... sit up here like. Mm. Yeah, yeah. How's it going, man? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Pretty good view up here. I see why you and your lady were walking up here. I mean, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't trust that tanker <laughs> enough to just stay up there forever. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna do it for this episode of the walking dead indeed we'll see you guys in the next one for chapter four we gotta go now i'll be fine just go really i mean he seems like he's handy with a shovel but <laughs> I don't know how, like, how pro-level ninja you are with a shovel, my friend. <laughs>